Hi everyone, I want to do a quickie painting for you, just a five minute painting, but I want to do it on a piece of paper that has deckle edges both sides. This is a deckle edge, see the other side has a straight edge. This is an Archie's 300 gram cold press paper, but you could do this with most watercolour papers. What I did first was measure out where I wanted the decollage to be and I used one of these tools to score down very carefully on both sides of the paper and then I folded it over and again scored it, folded it the other way and scored it. So I ended up with something looking like this. Then what you do is you add some clean water and you just paint down, paint down that edge with the clean water on both sides. Then using a ruler, same ruler you used before if you haven't got one long enough which I don't at the moment, um, you do it in two sections and you just hold the ruler very carefully and tear. So I'm just going to move that down a little bit and tear. So I have a nice rough edge on both sides. It's not as rough as the one that the paper comes with, but when it dries, it'll look okay. You can always, if you wanted it a little bit more roughened, is just use your nails and just pick out some of those little soft edges because they are quite soft, having the water on them, and that will give you a nice feeling of a deckle edge. So I'm going to continue around this piece of paper and I will come back to you very soon with the little project that I'm going to do for you, the five minute quickie painting. Hi everyone, this is my quickie painting for the day. I'm just going to take some clean water and put it on this Arches cold press watercolour paper. Not taking the water all the way to the sides. I'm going to use a little bit of new gombage which is a warm yellow and just quickly just put that in working wet on wet Just leaving that nice border around the edge of the paper. Now I'm going to pick up some Opera Rose, which is a very oh, beautiful pink. And I'm just going to work on wet on wet on this. And I'm going to do some flowers today. So thinking about heart shapes for each petal. Now it is going to bleed out and that's fine. We'll do about five petals. We'll do another one just in here. Very loose, very loose flowers. Okay, and maybe just a little bud happening around here, just a little triangular shape, a little hair in there that'll come off when it dries. Now I'm going to pick up just a little bit of lemon yellow, just on the tip of my brush. I'm just going to add a little bit of that to some of the petals, makes a beautiful peachy colour. Now a little bit of ultramarine blue, a 
fairly transparent just a little wash and I'm going to just put some shapes in around the flowers not thinking too much about leaves at this stage so of course when the blue and the yellow mixed it will give me a little bit of a green tone So that has to dry, so I'll just switch off for a second and come back to you and finish it off. So here we are with a nice dry surface. And now we're going to just finish this off quite quickly. Back on with the Opera Rose. And again, this little one down here, being very loose. And our bud. Going to pick up some new gumbage. And just adding again a little bit of that just to give it some definition. Some lovely colour and that can also go in the centre. Okay, so now I'm going to go to a smaller brush and mixing a green with the ultramarine blue and the new gombage. A nice transparent mix and we're going to pop some leaves in now Now I'm not going to worry if my paintbrush touches those flowers because those colours coming through will be really pretty. So I'm really just drawing the outside of the leaf and then just doing a few lines to put in in the green strokes to make the leaf. We'll have some more up here. Okay, I think this is looking quite pretty. I'm 
Now I'm just going to do a little bit of shading on the flowers. This is a, it's called Lacquer Rose. So it's just a little bit darker than the opera pink that we were using earlier. I'm going to put some of that around the centre of the flower just to give it some depth. And also um, where some of the leaves overlap, we can put a little bit of that in there too, just to give us a little bit of definition. Now I'd like to add some of that to the um, bud as well. I'm just going to wet that bud a little bit. I'm just going to add a little bit more of that. That's the opera rose or the opera pink. And then the lacquer rose is just going to go in the base. Now also a little bit of shading either side of the petal. Now, while I've got that green mixed too with my script liner, script liner is a really long bristled brush, perfect for doing long lines. I'm going to give a little calyx to this bud and just pull down that stem. So I'm just pulling out a little bit of that pink too as we go. Now here's a little bit of gold watercolour. If you haven't got gold watercolour you could use a gold pen or gold acrylic. You could even use a white paint. I'm going to add a little bit of gold to some of these leaves. Not all of them, just here and there. That's looking so pretty. Now, um, just in the centre of the flowers. And again, on the other flower. So this is all wet on wet. There we have it. So now I'm going to just use a little bit of white gouache, just straight out of the tube. You could use white acrylic or you could even use a, a white pen, like a gel pen for this. So just defining just that little bit more.
still wet on wet. I haven't dried this off at all. This is just that lacquer rose colour. If you haven't got lacquer rose, just a uh, crimson or an alizarine would be lovely. So I just quickly dried this off for you and you could just leave it like that and pop it in a frame or give it to a friend. Another thing that you could do is just add a little hole and we could pop some something like some string or a little bit of this fancy tape or even some ribbon through the hole. We'll try some of this one, see what it looks like. And that would be perfect to give to someone as a gift, for a, as a bookmark. Just a little thank you gift. You could write something on the back of it. Nice little memory. And just pop that in an envelope. And that would be beautiful. Now I haven't used any pen on this one. I did make one earlier that I used uh, some biro black biro on and it's entirely up to you which one that you prefer either with the pen work or with not and um, anyway hope you enjoyed this quickie project and please let me know what you think don't forget to like and subscribe to see more quickie projects thanks for watching